Well, good morning, leaving Silver's Mine campsite, heading to Falls Village, Connecticut town. Um, we had a tornado warning this morning, tornado watch now, and we had like oh, well over an inch of rain this morning, last night into this morning. So, um, some parts of the trail were impassable. We had to do some reroute, um, just due to some crossings that we can't do it. so anyway that's what we're up against we will see what we can do raining um it's uh not raining like super hard but we did have some river crossings one of them was a reroute and it was impassable so we had to go on the at with the washout and figure our way around the uh, crossing that seemed safer as a team of four that we are. And thank goodness I was third person because I fell in to my waist in the river close enough to the bank so that at least uh, Grateful and Tushis could grab my arms. Otherwise I would have been swept down river. So that was scary. That'll get your heart pumping in the you know, late morning, early afternoon. And uh, yeah, so now uh, we had another couple crossings and then the trail's been kind of washed out in some places and, or a river that we're walking through. So fun, always an adventure. Um, we are still a little ways off just from all these reroutes and crossings and stuff like that. We've had to take our time. So hoping that there's a break in the weather again and uh, we can get to our destination without too much tr trouble. So, we'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
a little 300 foot in. Huh? <laughs> Stop raining. Now we just have to go through the overgrown trail. Hi, baby. Well, I made it into Falls Village, um, and the people who own a cafe down the street let hikers stay in their backyard. So um, we are walking, or I'm walking. Um, a couple of people are in front of me, and one person's behind me. So anyway, we'll see. <laughs> There's the koi fish. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't bring my phone. I should bring my phone. Why don't you film that for me? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Just wait for the right time. Yeah. Baby koi fish.
Well, good morning. Um, we are leaving our stealth spot. We are going to a pond today, and um, it's like 16 and a half miles. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna be in uh, Great Barrington, Massachusetts tomorrow. And uh, so yeah, it's uh, lots of mosquitoes out, so I have my head net on. <sighs> um, so yeah, and then we have this cool stairs that the trail maintainers did. Very awesome. All right, this is the highest ground in Connecticut. We are about to pass over into Massachusetts soon. All the Canadian fires. Hello. Um, last night we got into the community center in the Great Barrington area and stayed the night in our tents, used the facility for eight bucks, which is great, um, resupplied, and uh, I still wasn't feeling quite right with this um, left armpit. I've had some pain the last three days. And uh, it was swollen. I was starting to have body aches, fever chills last night. Went to ER and I'm being tested for a tick borne illness and treated with strong antibi antibiotics. So, anyway, I'm climbing a hill right now. It's really hot. So, um, on trail today, 
I did not take any time off um, because there's really nothing they can do other than wait a few days for the test results. And then, like I said, I'm already being treated as if I had one. Um, but he's pretty sure since I had um, fever, body aches, all that stuff. So don't know what kind yet. So that's what I'm waiting on. But anyway, trying to get some some tracks in here. Um, the medicine makes me um, sensitive to the sun. So I went to get a sun shirt and uh, thankfully it was on clearance and she let me have more money off. So got Columbia for 10 bucks. So that was awesome. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens next. Doing the best I can. Um, still making progress. We are at the top. Nice place for a little break. Well, good morning. We are leaving or left South Mount Wilcox Shelter and we are heading to the Upper Goose Pond Cabin. Um, and we have a little trail stand with sodas, so that's where we're going, go. Hello. Um, currently, I am on the trail getting to Upper Goose Pond Cabin, which is where we're going to stay tonight. And the caretaker makes pancakes in the morning. So I'm excited about that. And I just got a call from the ER department in Great Barrington, where I had been tested for a tick-borne illness the other day. Since I had fever and chills, I have spots kind of all over me <laughs> and um, a really like an enlarged lymph node on my left underarm. So 
they said I have for sure tested positive for Lyme's disease. <sighs> so I am on the correct antibiotic for that. I'm on day two of the antibiotic and I'll be in Dalton in a day or two. And so if I don't feel better with the lymph node, she's told me to go back to ER or urgent care and uh, kind of go from there. So I'm doing all right. Um, it's been really warm and the climbs have been hard. So I'm tired um, and sore, but <laughs> these mosquitoes are not helping either. Um, but everything is going all right. So I'll keep you posted when I know stuff. Hello, good morning. I'm leaving Upper Goose Pond Cabin. It was great to be able to stay there last night as it stormed pretty good and poured rain. And then uh, this morning we got blueberry pancakes and coffee and sausage. It was very nice. So that was awesome. And uh, also my uh, face went numb last night on the right side. So it's a reaction to the medicine I'm on for limes. And uh, so that was scary. It's one of the adverse reactions. So I am having to go back to urgent care or ER when I get to Dalton today, about 21 miles. Um, I have painful lymph nodes still and they're still swollen. So um, the caretaker is there are in the medical field and they suggested I probably do that. So, joy, all the things you have to deal with when you're on trail. But it is what it is, at least I'm close to a town, so. <laughs> A lot of people here. <laughs> 